What's up guys, I'm Dr. Josh Chigoda. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time at my channel, well, you know we do a lot of things about health, wellness, low back pain, tips and tricks that you can do to help keep yourself healthy. But in the midst of all this quarantine, I figured why not provide you guys some free outdoor exercises and things that you can do to keep yourself healthy. Today, what we're going to do is a park bench workout. Now, we can't go to the parks. Many of us cannot go to the parks, but this is one of those benches that are available in my community. And if you don't have a bench or anything like that, you can use a small little brick stoop or some sort of block or something like that. But we're going to do some sort of exercise that we can get a full body workout in. We're going to be able to do it. Now, there are some modifications. It will be hard. It is hot out today. I am already, you know, burning up a sweat. I have a good warm up already done. So we're gonna hop right into it. It's going to start off a little lighter. Take your time, modify. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set a timer, or I want you guys to set a timer for 10 to 12 minutes. 15 minutes I'm gonna do about five different rounds and we're gonna go all the way through it maybe we do five rounds it's totally up to you we're gonna do push-ups we're gonna do dips we're gonna do some shoulders we're gonna get some legs involved and we're gonna have fun and we're gonna work hard so stick with me guys if at the end you still have a little oomph left in it I have some resistance bands and we'll do a burnout for those people out there who have these resistance bands so thanks you guys let's stick with it and what we're going to do is we're going to start with some exercises all right so first one we're going to do is i'm going to show you is we're going to sit up and we're going to come up here so we're going to stay with one leg at a time and then we're going to come back down there's no need to go up and really work that hard at this point in time we're going to come up and back down we're going to do about five or ten on each side let's do five on each side to start and then we're going to do five on the other side after that we're going to do park bench push-ups keep a nice plank ten okay if you do ten of those we'll go and do ten dips we can bend them ten so essentially we're doing 10 reps on every time right now, okay? From there, we're gonna get into something that's a little bit more difficult, that's okay. If you can't do it, modify. If you can't do it at all, shoulder issues, whatever, don't worry about it right now, okay? So the first thing we'll do is we'll get into this position here. We're gonna place our feet on the top here. We're gonna come in. You can come up on here and you're gonna push up and down, okay? So what we'll do is I'm gonna do it on this angle I'm going to try to get you guys a better angle the best I can, and we'll do 10 of those, okay? So, let's get started. We're going to start with 10, 5, 5. Everything's going to be 10 reps. Once you start sweating a little bit harder, maybe we can work a little harder. Totally up to you. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy this, all right? Let's get our legs warmed up. Make sure your body's warmed up. I'm pretty good, ready to go. Hopefully, you are too, but let's start, okay? So, let's get going. We'll set a timer or we'll do just five rounds. I'm gonna do five rounds. So or at least we're gonna to try to do five rounds. If we do five rounds, just so you guys know, what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna do a full body exercise. And as a result of that, we're gonna do 10, 50 reps each round as a minimum. So if you do five rounds, 250 reps, it's pretty good, okay? So, one, aim leg goes up every time. Two, three, Four. This is gonna get your heart rate up. This one right away. Five. Good. Now take the right leg and go up. One. Two. This is a high step for me. I'm short. That's okay. Makes me work harder. That's okay. If you don't have to work that hard, that's okay too. So that's ten. Let's go into the park bench push-ups. The PB push-ups. Ten. Try to stay straight. Throughout this exercise, I'll show you some modifications and things that you could do. So that's ten. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do some easy stuff at the beginning. We'll start getting a little harder, more difficult, more technical towards the end. So I'm gonna keep my knees bent. Ten. Two, three. Keep your shoulders up. Try not to let them curl forward. 
good that's 10 so you should be feeling it behind your arms there I am already so that I could tell that these pushes especially with this is gonna be pretty difficult I'm gonna get you a better angle here if you guys can't go as high with your your hands up here or something like this what I want you to do is go to your knees 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 perfect you don't have to go all the way up so let's repeat that's one round so we're gonna repeat now okay I'm starting to burn up a sweat left leg if you want at the top you can go like this two three four five switch one two take your time with this guys this will naturally raise your heart rate it's a tough 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 exercise good for your legs it's pretty safe as long as you're not jumping down and now what we're going to do park bench exercise park bench push-ups it's hard to develop this and make this harder because it's already fairly uh easy for, for some so what you can do is just change the grips here so as you can tell i'm a little wider now so i'm going to do 10. you can float one leg seven eight nine ten good that's two so let's make it a little harder what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take my legs i'm going to take them out a little further two four six seven you got this guys come on it's not about how fast you move right now it's about keeping your movement going just keep your movement going I don't care if you take 30 second break but just keep going okay so onto your knees here cuz this is good for me and I'm still warming up I'm gonna stick with this nine ten good slowly crawl out of here use your core now for some people it might be hard to get in and out of that position don't worry do a little more push-ups instead all right let's hop back into it ten step ups five and five let's start with the left one still one let's move a little faster two stick with me guys three four five other side one, two, three, four. This time, good job, guys. Keep your spine straight. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do pinch grip. We're going to pinch our elbows towards our side. Like a military, we're going to do 10 now. Okay? Let's float one leg. So instead of doing this, if, if you want, you this is an easier version where you can come up here like this. Just like that, guys. Let's do five on one side. Two, three, four, five. Other side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's do some dips. Now we're going to do dips. Five. Straight out like this. Four, five. Let's raise one leg. Five, two, three four five we raised our left leg next time we'll raise our light our right leg so we're, we're about to finish our third round here right so let's keep going now I'm gonna go up a little higher I'm warmed up Eight, nine ten good get onto your knees from this position and slowly crawl out perfect Whew. starting to feel it guys all right, let's move a little further over so you can see different angles. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move up left leg, right, left leg, three. Stay tall, guys. Don't round your spine to come up like this. 
Stay tall the whole time. Make sure you bite down hard on that leg and push yourself up. Like almost like you're stepping on something and pushing yourself through the ground. One. Two. Three. Four. Right leg up, right leg down. Five. Perfect, guys. Let's go. More than halfway there. All right, normal push-up. Three. Keep your spine straight. You need to take a break here. That's good. Finish off the reps. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Keep going. Keep doing this at home. Stay, stay healthy. Stay fit. It's so amazing what it feels like to just do body weight exercise all the time. It feels amazing. It's amazing how strong you can actually get with no weight, with nothing, minimal stuff. Consistency over time equals results, guys. Consistency over time equals results every time. Good. Let's finish the shoulders. If you guys are tired, maybe your shoulders are hurting, just do this. Just do your own body weight. Do 20 of those. Okay? So I'm going to hop in 10 more. You can take a break. Water sip. Take maybe about a minute break. We'll go through it again a little faster. Let's do this, guys. Onto your knees. Now, come on up. Keep your core strong. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down to your knees. All the way up. Good. Sip of water, guys. Always good to hydrate. Always good. Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of people, they say that approximately 1%, just a little bit, 1% dehydration can show a huge lack in performance. Take it from me, somebody who treats people for a living, athletes for a living, and, you know, you see people, what they're doing for hydration. Some people are really in tune and in, in the game with hydration. Some people are not. And as somebody who, like I said myself, played sports, still active, lack of hydration is a key critical component for muscle failure, fatigue, and it only takes one second to get injured, one second to lose the gold medal, a split second to lose the gold medal as a matter of fact. So staying healthy, fresh, clean, healthy water is important. Don't ever forget that. I always urge my patients and my friends and my family, don't drink out of bottled water. Try to get something healthy. Water bottles are key. Not only that, guys, not only that, but do not rely on water from the tap. God forbid there's an emergency like what we're going through with right now. You want to be able to have some sort of reliability and reliable water source. So whether that's filtering at home, boiling it, something. You want to always have something to hold on to it. So that's my little tip. Now that we're hydrated, staying healthy, we're going to do it a little bit. We're going to double up on our exercises. It's little, almost like a bonus round here, okay? So what we're going to do is instead of doing 10 total, we're going to do 20. Everything's going to be a lot harder. Don't worry. Take your time. Slow it up. So you can see I'm sweating. Let's go. Let's do this. So 10, what we can do is we're going to do 10 on each side. Okay? So 10 step ups. One. Left leg up. Right leg down. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. You guys should be really warm by now. Especially if you're working outside in the heat. Right leg. Ten. Two. Three. Move slow if you need to. Four. Right leg up, right leg down. Five. Six. Seven. Just watch your step and then look up. Eight. Nine. 
10. Now, as you can tell, these are sloped, right? Maybe at home you have a flat bench, then you can do jump box jumps and stuff like that. Totally up to you. I'm not going to risk it. I feel like it's too high of a risk. I'll do box jumps somewhere else. Not a problem. Okay? So, 20. Let's do 20 straight. One. Keep your spine straight. Don't lead with your head. Lead with your arms. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good job, guys. Keep up the good work at home. Stick with me. Eighteen. Two more. Come on. Come on. You can do two more. Anybody can do two more. Good. Quick little break. Some air. A couple deep breaths in. Your heart rate might be up a little high right now. Let's do it. Let's keep going. We are going to get right into five. Sorry. Ten regular uh, dips. Then we're going to lift the leg on one side and then on the other. Okay. 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Switch. 3, 4, 5. Switch legs. 2, 3, 4, 5. Great job, guys. Shake out your arms. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. We're doing a lot of arms, a lot of pushes, a lot of walkouts on the shoulders. It's going to really help with this one. So we're going to do 20 straight. Go right through or go to failure, go to whatever you can do. But let's do it all the way over here. Arms up, legs up. Let's do it. One, three, six, eight, fifteen. Come on, five more. Nineteen. Twenty. Good. Come back down. Awesome job, guys. Woo! I'm dripping right now. Working hard. I think we should go for another round. What do you guys think? I think we're good for another round. Same thing we just did. Another wreck. Another break. And I think that will help you. Right now, if you need to take a longer break, totally understand. And you should. One of the biggest factors for injury and limitations for injury is not that you can't do this. It's fatigue. When fatigue happens, you break down. Your mechanics break down. When your mechanics break down, you can roll an ankle. You can work harder in areas that are not firing. You can work harder in areas that are not supposed to be working hard. That's what compensation is. And so as a result, most people get injured. And that's what happens. So don't do that. Take the adequate breaks. If you need a break mid-set, that's fine. It's okay. Do what you can. Just do your best. Forget everything else. That's all I ask. Just do your best. You got this anyway. You got this anyway, right? I know you do. So, left leg up. Now what we're going to do is left leg down. Ten again. All right, guys. I'm going to start in ten seconds. A couple deep breaths. We're going to wrap this out. We're going to go a little faster even now. Okay, so 10. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Stay up tall. 7, 8, 9, 10. Switch right, right away. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go, guys. Come on. We're just going to go right into it. Do whatever's comfortable. Get whatever you can get out of this. Let's go. One, two, twenty. You got this? Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on at home. Don't give up on me. Don't give up. Come on. Five more. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Keep going. Ready? Now we're going to go into the dips. 20, just regular. One. Seven. You need to take a break. Go. Let's go. Nice job. Nice job, guys. Last one. Let's finish this out. Let's bang this out. Let's bang it out. Good. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Two. Four. Whew. This is tough now. I'm going to drop down to my knee. Finish off the set. Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Give yourself a hand. Give yourself a hand. You guys did an incredible job. Working out, making time for yourself, following through to the end. I'm proud of you guys. Stick with this. I promise you, consistency over time equals results. Every time. I promise you. may not be easy. may not be what you want to do. Trust me. I don't want to be out here sweating in the sun, working my butt off. I want to be inside with ice cream, sitting on the couch doing nothing. But that's not where results happen. The results happen here, in your heart, in your mind. And when you put the heart and your mind together and you make your body do things, it will do things that it's never done before. And you will be happier, you will be healthier, you will be more confident, you'll be stronger, you'll just be a better human. So, thanks Scott. Thanks so much guys for stopping by. If at the end of this, you still have a little more oomph in you, I want to just take a two to three minute break, that's okay. We're gonna come back with some bands, we're gonna come back with some stuff, we're gonna work on some areas that we maybe didn't get so much of. All right, so let's get going. Have a great day, guys. Stick with us at the end. Stick with us if you can hold up. If not, use this other workout as an extra set for another time. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Let's open up the bonus round. Bye, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to the bonus round. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are feeling well. Before you get started, make sure you're hydrated. Make sure you took enough break. We definitely want to make sure we're drinking enough, as I said before, and we definitely want to make sure we have our rest that's necessary because this is bonus. We don't need any more. We already did it, but this is going to be bonus. What we're going to do is we're going to do jump squats, okay? And then after jump squats, we're going to do bicep curl, bicep curl, back to jump squats. We're going to do two sets, okay? Okay, two sets total. You can take a break, but try to finish off each set at a time. This is a bonus round. You don't need to go anymore. We're going to try to do 20 in a row. This is going to help with your explosiveness. This is going to help with your power. It's going to get you fit and strong. And now what you're going to do is finish off with a jump squat. So it's going to look like this. You don't have to go all the way down, but you're going to come up just like this. We're going to do 10. To f Actually, let's do 15. Let's do 15 jump squats followed by 10 arm curls. 10 arm curls if you can do it. I'm using a heavy weight, so I might get a little less. That's okay. Do what you can. All right? If you feel like you can do more, do more. You should be warmed up, but let's get going. This is going to get your heart rate up, so it's going to make it much harder to do the next exercise. So if you want to get more arms in, do this exercise first. Okay? But what we're going to do is I'm going to start here. We're going to start in this position. I'm going to show you what it looks like, and we're going to get going. So we're going to squat. We don't have to squat all the way down, but then we're going to lift ourselves up. 15 reps, ready? Start down, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good, make sure you finish that last squat. Heart rate is up there, gonna step on the band. I'm only gonna do one arm at a time. Totally up to you, I think one arm at a time is good. So let's do 10. Two. This is a little easy. I'm going to get a little tighter on the band. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You got this, guys. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job, guys. Same thing, other side. We're going to go right back into it, okay? As soon as you finish. One. Oh, not enough for slack. There we go. Make adjustments. It's okay. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job, guys. Deep breath in. Take a break. Now that your heart rate's up there, remember, we're going to repeat this. Because this is our last set, potentially, we might go longer. It's up to you. I'm going to do 20. I don't want to be out here any longer. I don't know about you. So as a result of that, I'm going to do 20 and then max it out on both sides, actually. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to max it out, get, but I get at least 20 and at least 10, okay? One, two, three. Let's go, guys. Push it now. This is the time to push. This is where champions are made. This is where all the energy that you've ever put through. This is where the heart and the mind comes in. Body is ready to give up, but your mind isn't. Come on. Come on, we've already done 20. Let's go. Let's do 10 more. Last one. Good job. My legs are burning. Burning. Woo. Ah, me. Wow. Let's get 10. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breath, nine, ten, two more. Anybody can do two more. Anybody can do two more. There you go. If you don't have bands at home, it's okay. You don't need them. Pick up a rock. We'll do more of these jump squats. All good. Two, I get 12. Three, four, five. Come on, two more. Last one. Amazing. Guys, proud of you. Thank you so much. If you stuck with me the whole time, you did way over 300 reps. So congratulations, welcome. I hope you enjoy this workout. I'm exhausted. Time to hydrate, time to stretch out, time to decompress, recover, and enjoy. Thanks again guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed these workouts. Great job. Remember, consistency over time equals results every time.